At the end of Joshua chapter 6, they finally get to the moment they've been waiting for. After six days of walking around the city of Jericho in silence, they get to the seventh day. On the seventh day, they walk around the city, not once, but seven times. They let out a big shout, and then in verse 20, it says, The walls came tumbling down, and every man from Israel walked straight in. And there's a really key word there that I want you to pay attention to. Straight. Straight in. And why is that word significant? If you've ever witnessed the destruction caused by a tornado or a hurricane, something that came in and annihilated buildings and walls and structures, if you've ever seen the ruins or tried to walk through those ruins yourself, you know that you can't just walk straight in. It's a big mess. You have to you have to be careful. You have to watch where you step. You might you might step on something dangerous, but but God tells us that the Israelites, after Jericho's walls fell, they were able to walk straight in, as if the walls were never there to begin with. And why is that amazing? Number one, well, that's what God promised would happen. If you go back to the beginning of the chapter and you will listen to God's instructions, he said that that's what was going to happen. And maybe it sounded impossible at the moment when God said, every man will walk straight in after the walls have fallen down. But that's what God said would happen, reminding us what faith is. Faith isn't expecting the miraculous. Faith is expecting God to keep a promise. He promised that would happen, and, and it did. <laughs> Something else to consider about that word, as you picture the Israelites, going straight in, right across the places where this big barrier had been standing that was preventing them from getting what they know they needed. It's also a pretty cool picture of what God promises you. The day when one day every tribe and language and nation and race will walk straight in to the place where God wipes every tear from our eyes. Straight in to our eternity. When, according to the book of Revelation, the old order of things has passed away. The old order of things. You know what that is? It's everything that weighs your heart down currently. Everything that makes you feel hurt or guilt or sadness. Everything that makes you cry. Everything that makes you feel discouraged. That's the old order of things. And one day, it will have passed away entirely. And just like the Israelites were able to take steps forward as if the big barrier that was standing in the way between them and their victory wasn't even there, that's what it will be like for you. One day you will take a step forward and it will be as if all the hard things never existed. First, we know they did. We know they do. But this is the victory that Jesus has promised you. The victory that God won. The one that you get to hold in your hands even now. The one that now we see by faith. But one day, Maybe after six days of walking around in silence, maybe on a seventh day of walking around and letting out a big scream, maybe many more days than that. One day, you'll see it with your own eyes. Rest well tonight, my friends.